being able to be myself, risking it all, risking, risking all, you know, whatever, ego, importance, oh my God, what, what do you think of me? What do people think of me for, for <laughs> believing in angels? <laughs> oh my God, no, don't, don't know that. That I believe in angels, that they're real. Mother Mary's real. Jesus, you know, you know maybe 2,000 years or however people writing about them, maybe they're real. Oh my God. Maybe there are masters. Maybe there are ascended masters who walk the earth. I mean, I've been reading books about this almost my whole, my whole life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I, I believe in <laughs> that there are you know, ascended masters, that there are masters living in the world, you know, humans who have mastered themselves, who have mastered thought, you know, perhaps the creation of matter, the laws of the universe. I mean, there's gravity. <laughs> Electricity, we do not understand. You cannot understand these things. They are mysteries. Maybe there are more mysteries in the world that we don't know about. Maybe we don't know everything. <laughs> it's laughable. It is laughable. Maybe we don't know everything. Maybe there are mysteries. Maybe we do have spirits and souls. And it, I, it doesn't, it doesn't compute. It, that's where the conversation begins for me. That's where it begins. Is wait a second, wait, yeah. You know, people, you know, have talked about you know spirit and soul and God and wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be really, really awesome to know that this this isn't all that there is? Wouldn't I like to know that? So I'm just laughing at my own, you know, fear of, of, of the other that I talk about all that I've been talking about, writing about it for a long time. <laughs> otherness, experiencing otherness, you know, there are other dimensions where, I mean, why do we call this the third dimension if there aren't other dimensions? I mean, stop for one second and just, you know, <laughs> it's like... Huh. Third, okay. So, there's so much unknown. So much unknown. And, and we live these, just these tiny focused lives. It's like, what am I going to buy next? What's for dinner? You know, what's, what do I need? What do I, you know, what am I going to, what am I going to do? And it's tunnel vision, focus. You know, our focus is being focused for us. Be thanks. <laughs> There's so much more than this physical reality. This sunshine, this beautiful sunshine—is that physical? Is that spiritual? You know, the gravity keeping this this car, this body—is that physical? Is that material? Do we? What do we know about that? I look out at the ocean and you know the ripples and the waves. What's you know what energies are causing that? You know the water to move and. No, we don't fully know. You know, you can make some guesses. You know, maybe some earth tremors going on, shaking the water. That, you know, of course, the wind. But anyways, and what you know, and what what waves are are going through the air that we can't see? We only know, you know, we feel the wind. We see leaves blow, and we know that there's this thing called wind because of you know what it moves I don't know, what's moving in us I believe there's a spirit moving in us you know, wind and water they're a form of spirit so anyways <clears throat> getting outside of it getting, it's like you know we're, there's got to be more than material physical or else I don't really it's like you really think that we would be here <clears throat> Experiences today at Love Light. It's like, you know, beautiful, beautiful spiritual experiences. 
this is a beautiful, beautiful spiritual experience. gets lifey when life gets this is you know this sucks look deeper feel deeper look in your heart you know the cliches are cliches for a reason and I'll keep saying that look in, look in your heart look within your heart there you know there are there is more there is more than this and it's yeah it's up to us to for me, you know, to bottom out on, <laughs> to bottom out on too much reality, you know, here, you know, reflecting on the, uh, of the Don Henley song, Harry got up dressed all in black, went down to the station, never went back, they found his clothing scattered somewhere down the track, I guess he won't be on Wall Street anymore, you know, he had a wife, the love of a girl, he got caught. He was too much in this world. Too much in this world. So there's balance. There's balance. You know, there's what's before my eyes right now, and there's what's a, what's going to be before my eyes. And I decide subconsciously, consciously, a mixture of both, what's going to be in front of my eyes and my experience. Uh, right now, anyways, that, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough. So, and, and I can be light and, and laugh here because of spirit, because of an awareness, because of spiritual experiences that make me feel good. It makes me feel good. Not being too much in this world.